my show. What's up guys? Welcome to episode one of my new mini little series I'm going to do about different vegetables and spices and herbs you can have on the keto diet. So as you probably know, most people are just generally eating like broccoli, cauliflower, uh, maybe some uh, lettuce and uh, a little bit of asparagus and that's pretty much it. Maybe some avocado and that's all they're getting. So I thought I'd do this little series to show you a load more different vegetables and spices and herbs which are absolutely lovely to have on keto, full of vitamins and minerals and also low carb. So stay tuned for the um, vegetable in today's episode and obviously continue to stay tuned for all the other ones that I'm going to do as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please give this a like and subscribe if you enjoy it. I do appreciate it and um, I will catch up with you in a bit. So let me tell you why this is so good to have on your ketogenic diet. 100 grams has only 13 calories. 13, that is like incredibly low. Three grams of carbohydrates, 2.9 is dietary fiber. So there you go, if that's not enough to not eat this, then I, I don't know what is. It also has 20% uh, of your daily recommended vitamin C allowance. Apart from that though guys, it's not that nutritionally dense, but it's absolutely awesome for bulking up your dishes and uh, increase, to help increase your fullness as well. So you probably want to get your, um, your, your micros from your other food sources, but this is absolutely awesome to bulk up your dishes. So the texture is like a um, cucumber inside slash marrow. The inside looks looks the same. I'll put a picture up here. Um, it's like fluffy seedy inside, which you don't really want to eat the center part. But the outside is like a firmer cucumber uh, flesh. It's normally eaten um, cooked, like you have it in stews and soups and whatnot. But I found I really like to have this in a salad. It's really refreshing. And like I say, it really bulks up your dishes. So I'm going to be using this later to make a som dum, which is a, a Thai spicy salad. It's normally used with green papaya, but I find I like to use this instead, obviously, because it's low carbohydrate. Anyway, I'm going to be putting details of that recipe up here as well on a card or something. And yeah, there you go then. That is the winter melon. I hope you uh, check it out. Let me know if you do. Tell me what you think about it. And I will catch up with you guys in the next video. And yeah, catch up with you later. Cheers, winter melon. Episode one of this episode. Yo, what's up, guys? Here we go. Welcome to episode one of different uncommon. What? Uncommon? Different. I'm going to be showing you a load of different. Because um, it's only freaking 2.9 grams of carb, roughly, per 100 grams. And three grams of that is.